What's going on YouTube? It's Lando Claudrician back with a computer review. And today we're going to be looking at a Macintosh Plus and I think I've made a video on the Macintosh Plus about two times. The first time I made one it was I don't even not it was a long time ago. <laughs> it wasn't really even anything worth watching. And the second time I wa did one was a couple years back and I recorded it uh, vertically, <laughs> and it was kind of a weird video, but it was a little better than the first, second one, or the first one, so now the third time, we're going to be looking at it again, but this is a different computer, obviously, it's not the same as the uh, second time I recorded it, um, but a little backstory on this, I had gotten this a while back, not too long ago, uh, just was looking through Facebook Marketplace and saw somebody had a complete Macintosh Plus with keyboard, mouse, hard drive, um, computer itself, and then if you can see that, it's called a Mac Fanny on top. This is a little fan add-on, it's nothing really special. But, um, you know, they were selling it for a reasonable price, and <clears throat> I got it, and the guy had, like, just said he'd done, like, he'd, uh, reset, uh, fixed, like, the solder joints on the analog board and stuff like that, and got the screen working, and everything was pretty good on it so I ended up getting it from him he did say the hard drive sounded a little like wonky that it might not last but as far as I'm concerned the hard drive sounds like what any other hard drive sounds from this era it works it's loud but it you know gets the job done uh, yeah I always wanted to get another one of these and didn't really want to get one off of eBay just because they're old and you know shipping it's you take a gamble well anything like this you're obviously taking a gamble on how long it's actually going to work for um keep in mind these came out in 1986 so you know it's got some age to it <laughs> um but no nah, it's a very uh this one's very in decent shape and pretty much uh works like a dream except for a couple weeks ago i had a uh, problem with the display cutting out and the guy who actually sold it to me um you know does it you know it's pretty well versed in fixing these so he ended up just saying like bring it over to the house um where i got it from and he said he would you know attempt to fix it for me and he ended up ended up being a pretty easy fix he ended up getting it all good to go and he also put because he when he originally gave it to me he gave me a upgrade <coughs> He gave me, <coughs> ooh, sorry about that. He gave me a four megabyte, uh, four one megabyte sticks to upgrade the RAM to have its max of four megabytes, and I never got around to doing it. But when I hit the display cut out, he's like, "Just bring the RAM sticks back," and he said he'd throw those throw those in there for me, which he did. So now this is a fully upgraded four megabyte Macintosh Plus, which is really nice. And as you can see here, he gave me a keyboard, which is, I guess, the original to come with this. Because I think the Plus came with a numeric keypad. The mouse, on the other hand, is not an original to the computer. It's, I guess, an aftermarket mouse or just a different brand mouse. It's a two-button mouse. But, obviously, that doesn't really work. Only one button works on here. It just acts as one button. But, uh, it does work great. So we'll go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And you can hear the hard drive just like going at it. <laughs> but as you can see the display is working now which is nice. It was cutting in and out which sucked. I thought it was like man I only had it for a month so and you know the guy like had no obligation to fix it whatsoever you know sold as is but he was like man I like he was like I hate that it only lasted you a month <laughs> and so he was like as long as it's easy fix and stuff like that he did it no problem which was really nice it was very quick too because literally I had given it to him and then like an hour later he called me he was like oh I already have it fixed and I was like alright so I was still in the area ended up picking it up pretty quick All right, let's go in here and look. So, about 
this finder. It's running system 6.01.8 or system 6.08. And you can see it has the 4 megabyte upgrade in it, which is nice. And this one does have some stuff on it already. Like it has, well, on the hard drive at least, it has, you know, games and whatnot and some word processor, paint, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and click on some games and kind of run those. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's do... Do, 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 do. Let's do Missile Command. That's pretty fun. Play a little bit of that. And if you ever played Missile Command before, this is just the basic run of the mill. This is what it is, essentially. And I could go for a very long time playing this game. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Just all about timing in the later rounds. But we'll go ahead and quit out of there, because there's nothing really too special about that. Play something with uh, <clears throat> music here. Uh, Tetris. And as far as I know, everything on the, um, uh, he said the, uh, floppy drive was cleaned, everything works good on that, so if I did get some, like, games on floppy, I could play, I could use that as well. screw this up real quick <clears throat> there is one game on here that I might just do a video on itself because me and my friend and my friend's not a computer person at all he doesn't like really care about anything vintage but he loves a game called crystal quest on here and it's actually pretty addicting we've been trying to like compete to get the high scores open up an actual program. So there's other games on here like Crystal Quest, it's just like a kind of space shooter type game. Um, Lemmings, which doesn't work unfortunately, it crashes every time I get into it, which sucks. Missile Command, we already saw that. Some like text-based games, I think, like uh, Radical Cra Castle, uh, Oregon Trail is really fun. We have Risk, Mac Yahtzee, Civilization, Donkey Do, I don't, I think that's like a, uh, um, Donkey Kong ripoff. <clears throat> Utan Attack, which is a space game, I believe. Uh, yeah. Nothing, a couple games on there, definitely not too bad. And then the apps here, we can do, <clears throat> so it has Mac Paint, Mac Draw, uh, Microsoft Excel, I think Microsoft Office, yeah, so Word, Excel. And then we can uh, open up Mac, uh, Mac Pan. We'll do one of the pictures that I drew on here. And keep in mind, I'm not an artist by any means. I'm pretty shitty. <laughs> this is my attempt at a Pikachu. Old school, like Pikachu. It's like face is a little messed up, like right here. But yeah, I try my best. <laughs> uh, close that out. <laughs> And this does have a text-to-speech, but unfortunately the volume so low, it wouldn't even be worth even trying to do it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing really too much to say about these old computers. I mean, 
more or less I just want to show you something because I haven't done anything computer related in a while and the big question is I know a lot of people when they're getting into these older guys um, is a Macintosh Plus really worth collecting? I mean, it is. It is a collector's piece. It's vintage. It's, you know, it's definitely worth it. But if you do not have the technical skills to even, like, attempt to fix it, um, luckily, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I can do a little, like, stuff with these older ones. I'm not too big on, like, fixing them. I've fixed them in the past before, but I haven't done it in such a long time. So even for me, I mean, I wouldn't really say, the only reason why it's worth it for me is because I have somebody that I know, the guy that sold it to me now, that seems like he knows how to fix these really well, so if I ever do have a serious problem, I'm sure I could probably, like, pay him some money to fix it. But if you're getting into the vintage, you know, like, stuff like this, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not really good with <laughs> fixing stuff because you're basically just sitting on a time clock, like, you're, you're a timer, essentially. Because if these things haven't been like either, you know, you know, recapped or whatever, whatever you need to put in here to like get it like cleaned up to ready to go. I mean, you're basically just sitting around waiting for it to die. And if you don't have any skill to whether to fix it or not, like they're not very like, I mean, you're going to be just sitting on dead weight at that point. Unless like you have somebody that can fix it or something like that. But um, I mean, they're really cool. I mean, you know, and I wouldn't say not not to get it if you don't if you actually really want to get it obviously go for it i mean i did that back when i was little i mean you can see on my earlier videos i got them i've had them in the past before like 10 plus years ago and i that was i had no skill really of anything back then but i mean i just liked it because it was a very cool vintage piece but I mean, if you're gonna, I mean, more recommended, so I'd recommend going with the 90s Max. They're a lot more easier to find parts for and get, you know, fix, essentially. <coughs> but these are definitely cool pieces. I try not to use it this too much just because I want to get the uh, ultimate, the more life out of it than anything. So usually I'll get on it for, I'll get on it every couple days and I'll play a game on it or something like that. Or if a friend comes over, we'll play some uh, Crystal Quest and do that. Go ahead and shut it down now. But I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's in pretty good shape for the most part. And the hard drive works, everything is pretty nice and... And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't really, I'm trying to have some more videos come out. I might do, I know recently I've been putting Pokemon videos up, which unfortunately that's probably not going to happen anytime soon just because right now Pokemon is still hard to get. <clears throat> and when Rebel Clash, or no, no ba uh, Battle Styles came out, uh, it was somewhat easier to get Pokemon at that point, but now it's kind of, at least in my area, it's gone back to where the scalpers are just beating everybody there, so, and I don't really have the time to just go out and look <laughs> as much as I did a couple, a month ago when I was doing it before. But I might maybe throw in a Pokemon, like, to show you my collection so far and what I've pulled and all that, and... As far as computer stuff go, you know, I'm trying to balance everything out, so this is just a quickie that I wanted to throw out there real quick, just because I had it, and it's a very interesting piece, and I just love the Macintosh Plus. <laughs> it's a very nice, cool-looking computer. Well, that said, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, uh, have some more videos out soon. I might do also a streaming uh, segments on my computer. Uh, not my computer. Oh, on my... Uh, channel as well doing some streams of uh most likely outbreak for cold war that's really the only game i play or minecraft it just depends um but stay tuned for that if you're into watching live streams and stuff like that i should hopefully have one coming out relatively soon but obviously the three main things i'm going to be keeping my channel now so obviously if you've watched me since my name was all max i kind of changed that just because Essentially, I don't, my videos are so, sometimes so random to where, I mean, most of them, if you look back at my videos, it's mostly computer-based stuff. Uh, not all Macs, it, 
sometimes it's different. It could be other things like PCs and stuff like that. And I just decided to go with my gamer tag or my my, my username I use on PlayStation. So that's Lando Cloud Ratio, and you can add me there if you want to, and I'll play some games with you as well. But you know, main thing's gonna be still computers. If whenever, I, if and when I can get my hands on stuff, I'll be reviewing stuff like that and just doing video overviews. Um, probably streaming would be next. And Pokemon is just to be decided. Whenever I get something, I'll do something like that. But unfortunately. If you're in the Pokemon community, you know how bad it is trying to get Pokemon cards without having to pay overprice, and I don't want to pay overprice for so. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later.